My name is John Komatsi. I am an assistant professor of architecture at the School of Architecture in the College of Design here at the uh, University of Minnesota. So I'm relatively new to the Twin Cities myself and I was struck immediately by um, the investment in culture and design and the arts here in the Twin Cities. Philip Johnson has some early work here and, and Pelly, Prairie style architects, Frank Lloyd Wright has several houses here. Walker as an institution is um, a unique institution, I think, in many ways. This space offers not only a, a throughway within the sequence of galleries, but it also offers the opportunity to engage in um, some of the Walker's other unique forms of media. So here you see the introduction of the expanded metal panel system that clads the exterior of the main block of the, the addition. The ability for the building to adjust to the local conditions, the climate, uh, the sunlight, it's, it's, it's pretty astonishing. So this is the west facade of the, the original Wiseman. Some of the additions will take place here on the north and west side of the building. The Wiseman is cited as really bringing an emphasis back to architecture and the impact of architecture here in the Twin Cities. This was one of the last uh, of Gary's projects that were done prior to their full adoption of digital technologies. This is a whole wall of some of the hand drawings that were done. And then you can see some of the early models and sketches and start to get a sense of some of his early process. This is the new Minneapolis Public Library in downtown Minneapolis. It was designed by Cesar Pelli and opened in 2006. Again, represents this um, pretty amazing investment both in, into architecture and knowledge. Uh, the library system here is one of the most extensive in the, in the country. All right, well, welcome to the Guthrie Theater. This uh, was our brand new building, just opened about a year ago. It was designed by French architect Jean Nouvel. Um, and it sits in the uh, Minneapolis Riverfront District. I always love to start down here on level one because it gives you a great view of the underside of what we call the Endless Bridge. It jets out about 178 feet and it's uh, anchored into the bedrock below the building so it's not going anywhere. We've got three theater spaces, 11 bars in the building, of course our two restaurants, and then, oh, we, happened, we happen to have shows. The architect wants you to get your tickets and head upstairs to levels four and five where the views are, are spectacular. This is the, one of the longest escalators in the upper Midwest. It's about four stories tall and essentially shoots you past levels two and three, which are artistic uh, production and some dressing room areas. I do want to take you in one moment backstage just so you can kind of see uh, a unique architectural piece. This is not a skyway, it's a production link. It does not move people, it moves scenery. So it takes them from our scene shop across uh, the street on top of the parking deck to the backstage areas. It allows them to build the scenery in a much larger section and bring it across uh, to the stage houses. And so there's been a rich tradition of architecture and the arts, but that's something that seems to the more, the longer I'm here, the more I'm realizing that that's something that has been part of the development of the Twin Cities for, for centuries. <laughs> 